Carolina. North Carolina. Bryson City is the outdoor recreation capital of Western North Carolina. Biking, boating, hiking, and fishing are very popular activities. Tourism is the most important industry in Swain County. In Global Robotron was inspired to make a climate connection because of the outdoor recreation industry's importance to our local economy. If the climate changes too drastically, the effect on our local economy would be disastrous. We chose to talk to experts in our area about how climate change may impact our outdoor recreation industry. First, we spoke to Karen Wilmot of the Swain County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I would say at least 80% of our visitors uh, currently uh, come here for, for the variety of, of outdoor activities that would include uh, rafting, uh, the Mad Island River, uh, tubing on Deep Creek, uh, certainly hiking in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, uh, biking on the Solly Trail. We interviewed Dr. Brian Kloppel, a hydrologist who has studied the streams and rivers of the region for over 10 years. According to our research, USDA Forest Service Global Climate Change Progress Program Report, our region is predicted to be from 10% drier to 20% Wetter with more frequent El Nino, El Nino Southern Oscillation, and an increase in extreme rainfall events. What do you think will happen? Well, it's anybody's guess. Right? So just in the last 20 years, we've had our wettest year, uh, several four-year drought periods, uh, several hurricanes that have come through the area as well. So just in the last 20 years, our climate seems to be more variable. Finally, we interviewed some local businessmen and women who made their living in the outdoor recreation industry. Have you seen an increase or decrease in tubing customers over the years? Do you think it's connected to the changing climate? We definitely have a decrease in seasons where there's too much, uh, too much rain or too little rain, depending on uh, the season. But uh, overall, the last two years have been significantly down. Is there a point where you have to close down your business because there is too much water? There is a point in a flood when there's too much water to run trips. Um, another piece of it is that a rapidly rising water level on a river is quite dangerous um, as you have benches and porta potties and trees going down the river. Well, if anybody has ever owned a swimming pool, they know that rain affects the water quite a bit. Uh, one factor is uh, without the rain, then the water heats up faster. Um, so uh, we need the rain to, to keep the water cool during the summer months, June, July. If it gets to 72, it's fatal for the fish. The last two years, like I said earlier, the, the drought has, has really played a havoc on the fish. Um, August, I lost about a thousand, thousand fish. Due to the How often do you think that this has happened? Where we have uh, rain events that cause problems for the, the fly fishing. Yes. It has happened more in the spring and in the fall in normal times, but now during the summertime, off times, we will get flash flood events where you don't end up with the normal rain event where it's a gradual rain for several days, but rather you'll get two to four inches of rain in a short period of time where rivers will come up very, very fast, and that's usually what will bring in a lot of silt into the river. Um, how is, global, is climate change affecting Kelly's ski area? Well, I mean, climate change is affecting the ski area in a lot of ways. We're having to make snow uh, a lot more intense when we do, and we're having to run during day and night when 20 years ago we never would have made snow during the day on the guest and that's a negative impact to the guest uh, because they're covered with the snow machines all the time when we're running. As some of the members of Team Global Robotron sat in the school parking lot one day they noticed how many of the cars were sitting there idling spewing tons of carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. And we decided to do something about it. So we researched the effects of car idling and put together a pamphlet with information which we gave to parents waiting to pick up their kids.